Hello, we're 10 minutes from Totality here in um, the edge of the Aracatama Desert in Chile. And uh, it's a little bit of a race between the fog and, uh, and the sun. Well, uh, 10 minutes away, so I think we'll be all right. I think we'll make it. <laughs> we're lucky because we have a um, Pink Floyd fan over here. And <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Pink Floyd fans <laughs> in Chile, as it were. And uh, this is the right music for it, I think. Right? Yeah. And that's the right landscape for it. It's that. beautiful. I was telling, I was telling him, uh, it looks just like a Pink Floyd album cover. Yeah. They, well, this is their <laughs> second time playing through. Uh, wish you were here. I'm gonna tell him when, when totality happens, we need to crank up that Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I didn't have time to learn Spanish, so, you know, <laughs> you go. but the sun doesn't wait, or the moon rather. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's, that's kind of what <sighs> drew us to, um, you know, taking this trip. Yeah, and then back to America 2024, and then after that, I forget the exact dates, but I know it goes like Iceland, oh, wow. then I'll Egypt. Be wow, Egypt would be cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Egypt is, is a long one too. I think it's the longest one in our lifetime. It's supposed to be a seven minute totality. Isn't that awesome? This one was four minutes, but in the middle of the Yeah, city. in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. I so really the, hope the political climate in Egypt is <laughs> kind of stabilizes it. Stabilize. Yeah, maybe once Trump's out. <laughs> And we met some guy last night in um, Vicuña. He said uh, Richard Branson's in town. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that seems makes sense. Right. Yeah, my, my wife told me saw photos: Branson, Clinton, and some other guy. My buddy, we have one Chilean friend back home, who ironically claims to be a flat earther too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he actually is, but like whenever we're out at a bar or something, it's <laughs> after work. He's always like, you know, he's like, you trying to tell me the moon? And the sun are not the same size. I'm like, dude, uh, don't even it's like it's always it's like a troll. It's essentially what he's doing. And yeah, right. That's what I said. It's like, dude, look at put your thumb up. Your thumb is the same size as the sun. He's like, man, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, what? Come on, Angela. But hello here. We're uh, here with uh, renowned Chilean photographer Hugo Carrillo. This guy has some unbelievable photos of the area, uh, you know, the edge of the Atacama Desert, and uh, he's a Pink Floyd fan, which is fantastic. And he's already set up his gear over here to catch the um, totality and the whole eclipse and the whole thing. And he's doing a um, panoramic, panorama photo, long exposure, so it's gonna be really, really cool. And uh, he's gonna give you his uh, his uh, Instagram, Instagram, right? Yeah. He has a fantastic portfolio on Instagram. So what's your, what's your Instagram handle? Hugo Carrillo. Hugo Carrillo at, Hugo Carrillo at Instagram, right? Yeah. Okay. So just check it out. Just go to Hugo Carrillo at uh, on Instagram. We're gonna put uh, put the name here so you can find him. And uh, you know, the next second next thing is like being here. You're not here, but you go to Hugo's photos, so it's almost like being here. Uh, so I'll catch you guys again when the eclipse is happening. We are exactly uh, one minute to totality, maybe a little bit less, and. The desert is gone completely dark and we're just seconds away. Just seconds away. The eye of God!
And we're back. Max Milano here for MaxMilano.com. I hope you guys really enjoyed this amazing experience up in the in the desert. Uh, it was touch and go there for a while, but we did it. Uh, you know, we saw the totality, the eye of God peering down at you. Repent, repent, repent. Uh, never get told. And uh, I would say uh, for this uh, for this particular eclipse, it was a perfect combination of not just not only the eclipse itself, but uh, I thought the location was amazing. Uh, the, the piece of desert, it, it literally looked like a Pink Floyd uh, album cover. It, there was like this dried riverbed. Uh, well, you saw it. Uh, and the wildlife, amazing wildlife. So we saw penguins, we saw dolphins, we saw uh, big, um, little um, llama things, uh, apaca types of little animals, and even des desert foxes came up, came out right before the eclipse. So. Uh, it's just an amazing experience all around. Uh, so, if you ha if you haven't signed up for the next eclipse, um, you should you do it now. Do it now. It's actually going to be here in Chile again, possibly parts of Argentina. Uh, I'll be posting some information about it, and who knows? Maybe I'll be running a little tour. Some lucky, lucky, uh, lucky winners or some lucky friends might be able to join us because we met some people that are doing the same thing. That caught the eclipse bug, so maybe we'll catch you. Uh, and it's going to be, the next one's going to be in uh, December 2020. It's going to be down in, it's going to be Chile again. Go Chile, two in a row. And it's going to be in the south, uh, near Patagonia, not quite in Patagonia, in the Lake District of Chile. So uh, it's going to be a completely different landscape, uh, basically high alpine lakes, uh, right up through the Andes. So it's going to be fantastic. So glad you, uh, glad you could join us in this adventure and catch you in the next Eclipse and see you on maxmanor.com. Ciao.